That is what we're going to do. Oh! <laughs> it's fine. I'm fine. How you doing? Hi, hello. Today we're gonna try to make a restaurant quality Thai green curry at home. Actually, we're gonna make two versions. One with your standard store-bought curry paste and one with our own homemade green curry paste. And later we're gonna go visit my parents, the best taste testers I know, to feed them both versions and see if it's actually worth it to make your own curry paste from scratch. The first version we're gonna make is the one with store-bought curry paste because it's quick and it's weeknight friendly and who doesn't love that? The first thing we wanna do though is to prep our tofu, which is the protein in our curry. You can boil it in salted water to make it chewy. You can deep fry it, you can bake the tofu. Today I'm gonna pan fry the tofu and for that we need to press it so it can get nice and crispy. While the tofu presses, we're gonna prep our vegetables. I've got a Chinese eggplant here today and a red green, red green bell pepper. I have a red bell pepper. Green bell peppers are terrible. I don't know why I said that, Freudian slip. But you can use really any quick cooking vegetable you like. So if you don't love eggplant, don't use it. We do need to salt the eggplant for about 15 minutes to help soften it. Otherwise it can stay a little bit rubbery and chewy in the curry. For the bell pepper, we'll just slice it into strips. The tofu needs a few more minutes to finish pressing. So let's talk about our curry paste in the meantime. This is my favorite store-bought green curry paste, and I think that it makes for a very good curry. But even with store-bought curry paste, I feel like you need a little extra help from some aromatics. So that's where these guys come in, these gals, whatever you wanna call them, ginger, garlic, and lemongrass. We're gonna mince up five garlic cloves. I don't bother peeling the ginger because the peel is edible and peeling it is annoying. Lemongrass, this is, in my opinion, an essential ingredient in a Thai green curry. You wanna remove these papery outer layers and then lop off quite a bit from the top. You also wanna chop off this bottom nub, which is very tough. Keep peeling until you get to the tender inner core. It should be pretty bendy. This is how much lemongrass you're left with. It seems like way too little, but if you smell it, you'll know that it is super aromatic and it's going to just be amazing. We're gonna slice the tofu into roughly three fourth inch cubes. I say roughly because mine are clearly not even and that's okay, it's fine, it's fine. And now it's time to cook them. Carefully add your tofu in the oil's hot. I was using my fingers just to make sure the tofu was evenly spread out, but you should use a spatula at home, kids. The nature of tofu cubes is that you're not gonna be able to get all the sides golden brown, which is fine because you're gonna have that nice crunchy exterior, but a little bit of softness and chewiness. You get the best of all the different worlds texture-wise. And we don't need all this oil in here, so that's why I'm putting it on a paper towel lined plate just to absorb some of it so it's not greasy. And we're just gonna sprinkle these with a little extra salt. We're gonna set our cute little tofu aside and start on the curry. Every video I've seen of a Thai person cook a curry, they start by adding their coconut milk to a hot pan instead of oil. So that is what we're going to do. Oh! It's fine, I'm fine. Take two. They start by heating up the coconut milk instead of using oil. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna use maybe like four tablespoons of this. And this is gonna be kind of like the fat that our curry paste dissolves in. And we want four tablespoons of this green curry paste. Stir that in there. Stand back, it might sputter. And we'll add in our aromatics too. All right, it looks like it's time to deglaze the pan. <coughs> <laughs> Use that liquid to scrape up those brown bits. And uh, yes, we do need a second can of coconut milk. A Thai curry is rich and creamy and silky. Coconut milk is the only way to do that. Now, soy sauce. Every Thai curry has a really nice, deep, savory flavor to it. Oftentimes it comes from fish sauce, but you can absolutely make it with soy sauce with incredible results. This is Thai soy sauce, which is really salty compared to like a grocery store soy sauce. A Thai curry should also be a little sweet to balance all of the heat. So I'm using a tablespoon of coconut sugar. And now for my favorite ingredient, lime leaves. These are fresh lime leaves. You can buy them at Southeast Asian and some Pan-Asian grocery stores. To release their aroma, you wanna kinda just like bruise them and you'll notice they immediately become incredibly aromatic. They're citrusy, they're bright, they're super unique. Getting my fix in for today. And we're gonna let this rapidly simmer for three to four minutes until the broth or the curry, whatever you wanna call it, starts to thicken. Time for the vegetables. And we're gonna use one cup of vegetable broth. Try to submerge the vegetables as much as you can. Don't worry though if they're not all totally in there. We're gonna bring this up to a simmer and then partially cover it for six to eight minutes. Our curry is looking delicious. It might not really look like a green curry, it's more like a brownish green curry, but that's just because our curry paste is a little greenish brownish in color, but I guarantee you it's delicious. Now it's time to add in our tofu. Plop, 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 plop. 
these lime leaves. These are not edible in this form, so you wanna scoop these out before you eat the curry. At this point, you wanna taste for saltiness and sweetness. If it needs a little more soy sauce or sugar, add that now. I think this needs a tad more sugar. I'm gonna add maybe like a half teaspoon. And for our finishing touch, we're gonna to add some Thai basil. This is how most Thai curries are finished. It's so aromatic, it's slightly sweet, slightly spicy, just really fresh and delicious, and it's gonna add that characteristic Thai flavor. It's really nice, the Thai basil does a lot of work at the end, so again, if you can seek that out at your local Asian market, it is very much worth it. All right, I'm gonna do a little cleanup, and then we're gonna make our second version with the homemade curry paste. I'm really excited to show you how to make this homemade green curry paste. I think it's amazing and it is worth the extra time and effort, but we will see if it makes a big enough difference when my parents taste both versions. And the first step in this recipe is to drive right past your normal grocery store because you can't find any of those ingredients there. You're gonna head to your local Southeast Asian or Pan-Asian grocery store instead. The green color in green curry paste comes from green chili peppers. I'm using some Thai green chili peppers. These are also known as bird's eye peppers. They're quite small small, but they are very spicy. I'm gonna use 10 of these peppers. I'm just gonna chop off the stems. Because these are so little, we don't have a lot of volume from them and we need more volume and green color. So we are going to also use a milder jalapeno pepper. And because we don't need any more heat, this is plenty of heat, we're actually going to remove the membranes and the seeds from the jalapeno pepper, which is where all of the heat lives. Lemongrass, I already showed you how to peel and chop this earlier. We're gonna use about four stalks or 15 grams. But you wanna use a generous amount because it's gonna add a lot of flavor to the paste. This little fun guy or gal is galangal. Galangal is cooling and kind of smells like camphory, piney aroma. It is pretty tough to cut, so you wanna use your sharpest knife. And we need about an inch and a half of this stuff, if I can. Let's try this one over here. Now that I have sweated through my dress, I am done with the galangal and I am going to be back in one minute. I have to put on deodorant. The show must go on. We also need a few more aromatics that you're probably more familiar with, shallots and garlic. We're gonna use two medium shallots and eight cloves of garlic. What else, what else? Okay, we've got some lime leaves as well. The rib in the center of these leaves is a little bit tough, so we don't wanna add that to the curry paste. I also have some toasted spices here. This is coriander seeds, cumin seeds, and white peppercorns that I toasted earlier in a dry frying pan to get them nice and toasty. If you don't have these whole spices or a spice grinder, go ahead and just use pre-ground spices. And the reason we're grinding these spices before mixing it with everything else is so that the curry paste has a pretty smooth texture. Our last aromatic is some Thai basil. This is optional if you want extra flavor, extra green color, extra aroma. We're gonna use 20 leaves here, or 20-ish. I have already stopped counting. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. We need one more thing. Cilantro, not the leaves, just the stems. The traditional Thai curry has cilantro roots. Those are really hard to find. I have yet to find them here in San Diego. We want about two tablespoons of the stems. A traditional Thai curry paste is made in a mortar and pestle, not one of these things, but it takes a really, really long time. You just have to pound the aromatics for like an hour, maybe two hours. If you have one and the patience, please go ahead and do that. I am not using a mortar and pestle, but I tested this recipe in several different electronic gadgets to make it quicker. My favorite method is to use a high powered blender like this. Before we add our ingredients to the blender, we do need to add a little bit of oil in order for the blades to get working. Some final flavoring agents. We need salt, of course. This is a teaspoon and a half of kosher salt. Thai curry paste often has shrimp paste in order to give that savory umami flavor. To keep things vegan, we're using two ingredients. One is a white, miso paste. It's a fermented soybean product, so it is a savory funkiness that I love. I want to use one teaspoon of that. Our second ingredient are dried shiitake mushrooms. So dried mushrooms, especially shiitake, are super potent in umami. We're going to grate one directly in here using a microplane. Clean up our magic mushroom dust. Super quick, took like three minutes in this blender. Not the most authentic way to do it, but I'll take three minutes over two hours any day. Take a look at this. As you can see, it is a lot brighter and greener than the store-bought curry paste. And that is just an indication of how fresh it is. Ah! Just another day in the kitchen with Nisha.
If you want to taste it at this point to see if it needs more salt, you can, but have just the tiniest taste because it's going to be pretty spicy from those chili peppers. That's good. Spicy. Oh, again, seriously. All right, now that you have your fresh green curry paste, the remaining steps in this recipe are basically the exact same from the first version, except we don't need those extra aromatics because there's plenty of flavor in this. So maybe we can speed this up, play some cool music to go with it. What do you think? What do you think? Sure. And don't play any of that weird stuff you like, okay? No problem. bite. Mm -hmm. That's so good. I'm gonna go change because I am probably covered in coconut milk and then we're gonna go see what my parents think of both of these versions. Look, look, Papa is getting fancy. Younger and younger. Thank you. Look. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not yet. Wait. Put it there on top, no? Hi everyone, welcome to our taste test. If you haven't met my parents already, these are my parents. Mom, this is Neela. Hello. And this is my dad, Deepak. And this is my daughter, Poon. Nisha. <laughs> Cancel it. <laughs> I made you laugh. My sister's name is Pooja. I am Nisha, as you all know. Welcome to our taste test. We're going to try two different Thai green curries today. Have you had Thai green curry before? Yes, many times. You guys like Thai food, right? Yes. We, we like Thai food. We like Thai food. Thai food is spicy. Of course they like it. Well, both of these are the same version, except one was made with store-bought curry paste and one was made with homemade curry paste. I want you to try both and then we'll see if you can taste the difference. Let mom take a bite. Not, don't, don't taste this oh. one yet. Wait till mom's done. It's really spicy. Really? Oh, you're very spicy. <laughs> very tasty though. <clears throat> Mm. Oh, okay. So you don't need the extra chili peppers. Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay, let's try version number two. One more time. <laughs> Mom hasn't had a bite yet. I know. No more bites. Can I go back here? <laughs> no. Sure, you can go back here. No. Let Mom try this one. This is number two for Mom. This is, this is better. Dad likes number two and Mom likes number one. I feel like we have a tiebreaker. Cameraman, you can break the tie. I want to introduce tie Max. This is Max. Okay. He's actually my son-in-law. He does not say that, but I'm saying it. These, these are my second second parents uh -huh. right here. Oh, how nice. Mm. This is really hard. That is why I taste it like this. Just, just the sauce. Then okay. I go back here. It's Max's turn. So this is slightly better than that. But would you be happy with either? Definitely. This is 10% better. All right, Max, you're, you're canceled from being a taste tester. This is really hard. I like this one maybe a little bit better, a little bit more um, fresh vegetal flavors. Can you wait for lunch? Mm -hmm. All right, folks, it sounds like there's not a huge difference. My dad preferred the bowl on the left. My mom preferred slightly the bowl on the right. Max also slightly preferred the bowl on the right. So the bowl on the left was made with store-bought curry paste and the bowl on the right was made with homemade curry paste. Oh, Good. so I'm better. Ha, 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 I bet you, I bet you. There was no competition. So whether you make this Thai green curry with store-bought curry paste or you decide to make your own curry paste, I think you'll love it either way. Both my parents did. Thanks so much for joining but me, guys. But you have to get a better quality. Curry you paste. do have to get a good quality curry paste. Yes. I'm trying to do my outro. It's not working, so I'm just gonna say bye bye. Bye bye. So, what was the brand? He tells me I talk too much. Do you want me to do another outro? Is no, no. What brand was this? Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs>